All right, boys and girls. I apologize if my YouTube skills aren't that look great. I don't make videos very often. But today we're going to learn how to take a 2004 Jeep Liberty and upgrade the transmission from a 42 RLE to a 45 RFE. And I'm going to try to show you how to do it with or without a donor vehicle. This little paper here is kind of my cheat sheet. If I remember something that's not on it, I'll add it later. I'm going to start by saying the first thing you want to do is probably order two new motor mounts. I use the ones off 2004 and order a new oil sensor for a 2002. The second thing you're going to want to do is go into your vehicle, your one that you're replacing the transmission, that would be the 2004, and you're going to want to remove the skim module. That is this thing. It goes right here. You don't have to do this but it's the easiest way to do this swap. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, I'd say, probably just start pulling the motor. Pull the motor transmission out of both of them in one piece. Uh, pull this wiring harness out of both of them. It goes all the way from the firewall, the body control module, this hole here, it's in the same spot on both vehicles, wraps around, there's a fuse box here by the battery, wraps down into here, all the way back around. I decided to cut mine right here at the wipers, but you probably don't have to. I just spliced it back in, it worked fine. Once you have both of your motors, this white one is a donor by the way, you don't necessarily need it, but as you can see it's got some pretty bad body damage and it's got a lot of other issues, but it ran good, the check engine light wasn't on. Uh, one of the sensors you're going to need, and potentially the whole gas tank, because I don't think this mount here is the same on the new style Jeep. You're going to need the sensor that was here. You're going to need some vacuum line. Um, that vacuum line is I do believe this one is on both vehicles already but this one isn't. You're going to have to pull that off of the donor or just buy some. I bought some air brake tubing. It was black. It plenty stout enough for the job. Um, you're going to want to take this sensor here. Not a sensor. It's a solenoid. It clips onto here. It's broke. This Jeep's pretty old. You're going to want to take this sensor here off of your 2002 maybe 2003, whatever your donor is. And you're gonna wanna reuse it from the 2002 because the connector's different. Same thing with this sensor. I haven't done that yet because I haven't had a chance to empty my air conditioner and I don't wanna get any water vapor, oxygen, whatever inside of there. You see, they don't fit. You might not have to do that. You might have to just cut and splice. I don't know. They made the connector different for a reason, so it might be a different wiring. Might be different altogether. Same deal with your oil pressure sensor. It's somewhere in here. Right there. You can't hardly see it at all. You're going to want the oil pressure sensor off of the 2002 
And if you're using a donor motor from a 2002, I had to because mine had ruined the head casting. And I'd probably ruin this motor by leaving it sit in the rain. Um, let's see. Right there, it spit out the rocker arm and busted this casting. And it did that over here too, somewhere. So that's the 2004. Um, and those motors are similar, interchangeable. But you have to know, depending on which year you use, you need this ring right here. There's a cam sensor down here. Um, you need this ring, which I'm pretty sure isn't easy to take off without potentially screwing something up, but it can be done. So this is a 2004, you need a 2002. And the same is true about the crank position sensor. Um, you're gonna need a 2002 crank position sensor to go with your 2002 computer and as far as I understand you need to take the whole bottom end of the motor apart so it's easier just to start out with a 2002 I did it wasn't intentional that's just the good motor I had was the 2002 bad motor was 2004 I'm showing you this how to swap a transmission not the motor just a side note. This thing you're gonna need, this is the transmission module. You can buy these online. It's easier just to get it out of the donor, the white one over here, because you know it'll work. A little side note is, I heard that if you get one that's meant for a 545RFE and you put it in here, you've just gained an extra gear because the 45 RFE is potentially an eight speed transmission. And it just depends on which solenoids are activated, at what RPM, all that fancy stuff. So the next thing you're gonna need to do, <clears throat> I guess, is make yourself a transmission shift linkage bracket because the linkage on the 2004 this one that I have running is different you're gonna need to make the 2002 into this shape and I didn't end up needing this notch here or these um, that might come back to bite me later if it wants to pop out of there that's okay, I'll deal with that. The other thing you're gonna wanna do, and remember that the 2002 shift linkage bracket doesn't look like this, but it's kinda similar. You're gonna wanna turn these holes into an oval so that you can scoot this whole thing, I wanna say forward, because the space from here to here is really short with the 2004. And when I say 2004, that's just what I used. You could use a five, six, seven, potentially. Just do your research. Make sure that everything I'm saying still applies to those years. So anyway, this in front of me is the 2004 42 RLE. And as you can see, there's no transfer case, which is one reason I'm doing this in the first place. I decided to replace the bad motor out of the 2004. Obviously you need a good motor. I decided to upgrade the transmission from a 45, sorry, from a 42, that's what this is, 42 RLE, to a 45 RFE. The 45 RFE, if you look it up, uh, the five is your strength designator. So four speed, um, four speed, four speed, 
five is your strength designator. Um, five is, I think, what goes in a V8. Definitely a Jeep Cherokee 4.7, which is very similar to the 3.7, but it's a V8. So four speed. Five is your strength, so we're replacing a 42, which is meant originally for a 3 liter in a car. Obviously not very tough. It is still a good transmission as far as I know. I drove it here with two cylinders down. R, can't remember what that means. F is fully electronic. E is electronic. So the RLE, I think, is R can't remember what it means light electronics something like that my point is 45 rfe is a electronic torque flight automatic from what i can tell torque flight is a good transmission i think they still make them and they put them in the cummins as a 68 rfe so that's six speed eight is your strength designator um and you're going to want a transfer case. I think you can find one if your donor vehicle is not four-wheel drive. I think you can find one at the junkyard that will bolt up. But don't quote me on that. Um, you're going to need the drive shaft yoke. As you can see, it's missing off of my donor. Um, it's the same diameter of cups, but it is a more narrow yoke on the older vehicle. Um, there's other ways around that, but I just did it the cheap way, the free way, because I already had it. Um, this right here is the old yoke, uh, or sorry, the new yoke off the new vehicle. I played around with it, trying to figure it out because I thought the spline count was different. And I lied, that's not the yoke. The other piece is sitting around here somewhere. This piece that bolts on is the piece you need to replace. And the 2002 will have straps here. And that might not be true of every 2002, but it was true of mine. Um, you're going to want this Y pipe and the catalytic converter off of the old vehicle, the 2002. Um, the main difference is there's more room here for the transmission because it's a bigger transmission than the one we're putting in this vehicle. Physically bigger. This piece ends at the same length, so the tailpipe, I think you can use either one. I use the 2004, the new tailpipe. And another difference is there's an extra catalytic converter somewhere right here. Um, let me check my list here, see where we're at. Okay. AC switch. Explain that one. This is just on my phone, so, like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. Evap solenoid, that was this thing. You probably could make either one work, but I just used the one that fit, that plugged into the harness. Oil pressure sender, that is the thing down there under the power steering pump. Um, mine was really messed up. It was pumping oil into the wiring harness because it was broken. Um, and it didn't work very well. Sometimes it would send the oil light off and I'd get out and check my oil. Everything's fine. The motor wasn't knocking. Um, some people have a problem where they never solve that issue, but mine just got solved by replacing that sensor. Um, either set of manifolds, it's exhaust manifolds, uh, they're kind of hard to see. They're really hard to get to with the motor in the vehicle. 
either set of exhaust manifolds you can use I think I use the 2002 so I already went over the Y pipe um, 2004 muffler and tailpipe 2004 shift cable uh, you can't really see it on this vehicle but the shift cable as far as I can tell once it's crimped on once both ends are crimped on you can't get it out of the vehicle without cutting the firewall a little bit bigger where it pokes through and I didn't want to do that I want this to be as close to factory as possible because it'll be more reliable if it's closer to the way the factory intended or the engineers so 2002 shift bracket modify that with an angle grinder and a I think I used a step bit to make the hole bigger use whatever you have to use just don't hurt yourself use a carbide bird or touch it up I wouldn't do that because you'll get metal splinters everywhere um, so like I said the old dash harness is the one you're gonna want <clears throat> sorry the underhood harness that is these plugs here are different on the new computer these this plug here is different um, because the new vehicle the one that we're looking at in frame it doesn't have this module at all 